and journal and as act as a reviewer also. So kindly share your knowledge and wisdom with us. Thank you for that kind of so very good morning everyone yeah. till it's morning <laughs> sorry for uh, delay because of the weather itself so All right, so uh... We'll try to make this uh, session as interactive as possible, right? And uh, I'll be glad if you can ask as many questions as you might be having, because uh, largely people nowadays, they're more interested in doing quantitative research. And I think uh, the previous uh, the resource person, they might have come and they might have discussed about the various facets of quantitative research, right? So uh, largely there are not many methods of qualitative research. But largely, I will focus on phenomenology, that how we can use it for uh, your research. Apart from that, I'll give you a basic overview of the grounded theory also, and the other methods of qualitative. So largely, my area in the qualitative research is phenomenology, in which I have done a lot many tables, and I have published it in uh, various leading journals, you can say, on various multiple issues. So you know, as, as ma'am has already pointed out, so largely, I have uh, started uh, working on this qualitative with my uh, uh, this is a topic you can see on whistleblowing intentions. And that's why I started with faculty members, that is on teachers. And I still remember when uh, there is a lot of work which has been done on this particular qualitative methodology. But still, uh, I think quantitative methods have always been there and people are very much uh, familiar with that. But still, I think if you really want to deep dive into certain things, qualitative is the answer. And we're going to explore that and discover also that why qualitative and why not quantitative in certain aspects? Because both the researchers are having certain, you can say, uh, advantages, and they're having certain scope also. So looking at the scope and looking at the understanding of the qualitative research, we try to deep dive into the qualitative research methodology. So I have kept this one for the simple one so that I can give you much more deeper insights into phenomenology. So this will be the agenda, or you can say the flow of the presentation. So I will first talking about the introduction of qualitative research, definition and utility, why qualitative, which is the largely the question. Then qualitative research design we're going to talk about. Then we're going to talk about the phenomenology, how it is different from others. And then overview of interpretative phenomenological analysis, that is a technique. And then employed IP and qualitative research. Now, if I just ask you people, why we do our conduct research? That's the first basic question. I hope I am audible enough. Okay. So why do we conduct research? Anyone? Any ideas? There's so much uh, research we are talking uh, nowadays, am I right? And even uh, largely your recruitments are also based on uh, research profile also, which you are carrying, the kind of publications that you have made. But this is one thing. But what is the basic purpose of research as for you people? What do you think? Find a new way out. Okay. No. To find out new things and to explore new things. All right, that is one thing. Any... Okay, solution of a particular problem. All right. 
Finding defect, okay. And defining a problem is also important. All right, defining a problem is also important, right? Why do you think I'm defining a problem is also essential? Okay, all right. So putting a problem in a structured manner and then approach to work, that is one way. So that's why we do research. Any other thought that comes to your mind? To explore something, yeah. Okay. Okay. So largely we can say that already things are existing. We have to just relook at uh, relook at it from the newer perspective and newer insights, right? So largely, whatever you people have talked about, largely these are the generally we uh, talk about as okay. This is the purpose of research. Now, whenever we talk about the research and especially, so largely we're having two dimensions, qualitative and quantitative. These are the two general aspects that we talk about. So generally, when we talk about the research part specifically, why we are conducting the qualitative research, for example, we want to seek answer to certain questions. Generally, uh, if we say that, okay, uh, there's a lot of uh, rising temperature nowadays. Why is this is happening? There's a rise in the temperature overall. So why this is happening? Climate change is happening, for example. That is one symptom. That climate change is happening. Glaciers are melting. There can be a number of things also. We can feel that heat wave. Somewhere we can see, sir. Infrastructure and other things. Yes. So largely we can say that there is a cause and effect relationship. Right? So we are having cause and then we are having an effect. There, there are antecedents and there are consequences for the same thing. But largely when we when there's a cause and effect relationship, largely we are studying these kind of relationships in quantitative sense. So there are set of variables. I'll uh, take one example. I hope uh, all management faculties are there. Law and general. Law and general management. All right. So I take examples from your field only. So I take first one uh, from a simple one. Like for example, if I say, Job satisfaction is increasing or decreasing. There might, might be certain factors. So what could be the cause the job satisfaction increasing or decreasing? So there are certain variables which are responsible for that. For increase or decrease, you can say, of the job satisfaction. In the law, for example, if I want to understand that, okay, why the crime rate is increasing, so there might be certain factors. Attitude is changing. Or can I say, is technology is also giving the rise to crime? Can that be one? Yes, that could be one factor. So largely when we are just trying to understand the cause and effect relationship, largely we are moving towards the causal research design, which is largely being facilitated, you can say the quantitative researches, where we are collecting certain data. And when we are collecting data, then we try to run an analysis, with the help of certain software like SPSS, and depending on my data and the kind of uh, study I'm having, and then I try to interpret it, and then I get the results, and then I report it in a certain manner. So cause and effect relationships are in there. So generally, when we talk about the quantitative research, so we are generally talking about the cause and effect relationship as a distance. So it is telling largely about what is happening. What is happening? But what is the underlying phenomena that why such things are happening? Why? So what can be answered with the help of causal research design? Largely, we talk about the quantitative. But if I really want to understand that why such things are happening, what is our phenomena? What is the underlying current which is giving rise to such kind of shift? I'll give you an example. Like before election, BJP gave a slogan, Apti Baat Chaar so Baat. What went wrong? They claimed that, okay, they are fixing everything, they are doing wonderful. But still, when we saw their results, it was also not that great, especially when we talked about the full majority, it was not there. So if we want to talk about in a uh, cause and effect relationship, there might be certain factors which are responsible. So for that, I can understand. So whenever I am doing a quantitative research, so largely I'm able to understand 
that okay, these are the factors which are responsible for this particular thing, then impacting. So largely we are having two types of variables, dependent and independent. So independent variable is somewhat impacting, you can say the dependent variable, but and they impact, okay, if this is happening, so there will be change in this particular variable. So we can interpret, or these are the implications of this particular study. But if I really want to understand the mindset, if I really want to understand that why the thing is happening, I have to go to qualitative research. So let's try to explore it. Type of scientific research, now many people are thinking that qualitative is what is it? Do you have to take an interview? You can say But largely it is a very scientific study. Because at times, okay, just tell me one thing. You people are doing quantitative research, I believe. So you prepare a question, am I right? After making a question, then you are administrating it to the respondents. And most of the time it happens that nowadays because we are having the facility which is given by the Google, so we can share it online. And then we wait whether people are going to read it and they will go to fill it. Okay, so how many of you feel that whatever the data you are collecting that is normalized? Do you do data cleaning? This is a very sophisticated term. But don't you think that data cleaning is actually data manipulation? Because you want to fit in certain kind of results. You're just trying to clean the data. Or when we say we try to manipulate it so that the results can fit in. And the kind of results that we're expecting, that can be seen there in our research. Am I right? Is this what we largely doing? So, but when we want to go for the qualitative research, that we have to understand first of all. We want to seek answers to our question. Example, if we are saying that, okay, uh, why uh, uh, this crime uh, again, like against women are increasing, for example, right? And you might have seen that there, when this Nirbhya can't happen, that point of time, the you can see the victim died, but generally the people who were behind all these things, they were, you can say they were hanged and somebody even committed suicide and all that. So there was a documentary which was made on them just to try to understand the psychology. So largely they were interviewed and there was a researcher who came from UK just and she interviewed them. And on that basis only your Delhi crime uh, files has been prepared. That is a documentary as you can say a, a season has been made on that. So they just want to understand that okay like what was their thought process why they behaved in such a manner, how they could do such kind of heinous crime against the women, and they want to understand the psychology. So if I want to understand something which is very personal, something which is very in-depth, something which is not easily available, which is very much in me, inside me, in an individual, I need quality. Because somewhere, People won't open their mouth. At times when you are administering a questionnaire, there are set questions. These are items kept in. Usko wo padega, usko tick laga jega. Ki 1 to 5 ke ligate scale pe, agree or disagree. But someday when I talk, I try to understand with the help of, uh, you can say qualitative, with the help of set guidelines, you can say, I'm interviewing, I'm trying to get people that, okay, why they are behaving or why they are doing in a certain manner. So we are using systematically predefined set of procedures to answer the questions. We are collecting evidence. We are producing producing findings that were not determined in advance. Are we quantitative and results Am I right? Again, salary hai. Let's be very honest about it. Largely, we know that if our topic is and these are our variables, hai, so what kind of results are expected? Because there's a logical understanding that generally we have. If you have a culture, then culture can impact your job, aapka, for example, job satisfaction. Pe, hona Nahi hota hai, that's a good thing. But that simply shows that culture can, there's something wrong with job satisfaction either with the culture. But largely, what happens, somewhat we are having understanding that the results will go in these directions or in this particular direction. Produces findings that are applicable beyond the immediate boundaries of the study. Generally, you have heard about action research. 
Actual research, I hope all of you are aware about. Actual research has been generally been carried out to solve the immediate problem which you are having in hand. So largely in corporates we are having, we are doing largely action research, you can say, which are basically focused on certain problem that we aim to solve at that point of time. Any issues up till here? Any questions? So, naturalistic inquiry. So, I want to inquire about a certain phenomenon, or you can say, per a certain theme, which are underlying. In depth understanding of social phenomena within the national setting. Now, for example, you have seen that, okay, if I really want to understand the life of, you can say, the children who are staying in orphanage. Now you tell me one thing, in case you want to conduct a quantitative research on that and you want to understand their well-being over there, do you really think that you will be able to get the real insights? Will you be able to? No. So if I really want to understand that, okay, what is the phenomena, what is their life, so I can go and I can talk to them and then I may actually understand the natural phenomena over there, am I right? So there are certain sensitive topics you can say which I really want to understand that why such things are happening. So if I really want to understand why, that is why qualitative is being taken care of. What is largely taken care by quantitative, but why such things is happening? For that quantitative is not an answer. For why I need an answer from qualitative research. Especially effective in obtaining culturally specific information about the value system. Okay. You all have studied about ethnography, right? So when we talk about anthropology or ethnography, so really want to understand the culture, you can say. So when we study a particular culture, so some researchers go and stay with those people there to experience, so okay, what are their customs, what kind of culture they are having, what kind of habits they are having. And considering all these factors, you can say, then they try to understand and get some insights about the culture of that particular tribe. But largely, so they are staying there and they're trying to understand, make some sense out of their observation. You can say they kind of experience they are having or by their own experiences or by interacting with the people with whom they are staying or whom they are working. Behaviors, Values, opinions, behaviors, and social context of particular population. So if I really want to understand it, okay, why people are consuming drugs? So why people are consuming drugs? So is really after respondent con hoga? Anyone? The people who are consuming drugs. From them only you can understand that why they are consuming that. But are they easily available? Available. Where now? <laughs> okay. Okay, so one more uh, one more uh, presumption I'm trying to give. They are available, but will they be able to uh, will they talk to you for your research? No. Right? So some is when you talk about the research, I want to understand certain phenomena for that I have to interact with my respondent. I have to understand the thought process, you can say. Yeah, okay. That could be one thing. Peddler se baat kar sakte hai. But apart from that, any other idea? Okay, these are certain places where you are getting people who are addicted, right? And somewhere you can say they are the people who want to leave addiction. They are not consuming. Are you getting my point what I am trying to say? If you really want to understand the life of people who are in the rehab, who want to get rid of addiction, then Rehab center would be a great place where I can go and I can find my respondent and I can interview them, I can interact with them just to get certain insights. But if I really want to understand the psychology of the people who are actually consuming drugs, for that I have to interact with the right kind of audience. 
इसलिए सैंपल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और सैंपलिंग इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो जब हम बात करते हैं आपका प्रमाइसिस की तो प्रमाइस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस तो प्रमाइस एंड क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड टॉक अबाउट प्रमाइस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लार्ज अबाउट एजम्पन वॉट इज एन एजम्पन लार्ज रिसर्च इज ऑल विद एजम्पन ओनली वी आर है सर्टेन रिजम्पन की माई रिसर्च इज स्कोप इतना ही है इसके बियॉन्ड नहीं है इसके बियॉन्ड अगर आपको करना है देन अगेन यू हैव टू कंडक्ट अ न्यू रिसर्च टू गेन अ बेटर इन साइट बट जनरली तो वी यूज टू फिक्स अमाइज एक नेचुरल एग्जाम्पन हम आप पुट करते हैं कि दिस विल बी एप्लीकेबल एंड दिस विल गो टू है तो लार्जली क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च इज हेल्पफुल इन गेटिंग कल्चरली स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द वैल्यूज ओपिनियन बिहेवियर एंड सोशल कंटेक्स विच इज नॉट इजिली अवेलेबल so largely we are just moving to that particular part now why qualitative research because the things which you cannot get into or get from the quantitative i can get it from qualitative let me an example i'll share my experience already there are a lot of research there's a lot of research that has happened on whistle blowing in western world also but in india it's quite less but in western it has happened a lot But why do you think if I'm conducting the same research on whistleblowing intentions, for example, in India, that would be different from Western countries? Anyone? Any thoughts? I hope you all understand this is well, right? Right? Yeah. People are very vocal in US. There are certain laws which are there to protect people. we are also having law but still it's not notified moreover the culture is very very different so i tell you when i conducted the my research on whistleblowing intentions so what happened when i went to the people ki that okay i want data and my topic is this so their first question was ki sir is management sending it to us so people are scared they won't open their mouth so largely when we are so i'm telling you the two kind of differences so i had quantitative research also i conducted and i conducted qualitative also quantitative i gave a gave a question here and then i got the response so sabne kaha ki ha kuch galat hoga if something wrong will happen i will blow the whistle but in actual in the qualitative when i interview those people they said we might not because there are repercussions why repercussions because we have seen such kind of incidences so we might not be doing such kind of thing in real so in what is happening in quantitative i might be because i am having such question and nobody is watching me i have to simply tick mark and give my response but in qualitative actually i can deep dive that why that person don't want to do that so ability to provide complex textual description of how people experience a given research issue jo hamare liye shayad hame bahut choti si baat lagti hai but for many people it can be a grave issue to understand the social phenomena it's very very essential to get into qualitative which your quantitative can't give it provides information about the human side of an issue क्वांटिटेटिव जब आप करते हैं तो लाज यह बताते हैं कि इस वेरिएबल का इस डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इस इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल का इस डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल पे ये इंपैक्ट बट आर यू एक्चुअली टॉकिंग अबाउट कि व्हाई दिस फ्रॉमना इज हैपनिंग डू वी एवर क्वेश्चन दैट हम खाली ये बताते हैं कि ये फैक्टर्स हैं दिस कुड बी द प्रोबेबल रीजन ड्यू टू विच दिस माइट बी हैपनिंग लेकिन हम उसमें एक राइटर लगाते हैं कि इसके लिए आपको फर्दर रिसर्च करना और पड़ेगा टू substantiate on whatever the claim you are making in terms of implication so your scope is very limited that is often contradictory behaviors as i gave you an example uh i'll share one more example agar aap kisi bhi especially there are a lot many women but still we all know that there are a lot of crime that are happening against women right domestic violence a lot many things are happening अगर आप किसी से डायरेक्टली जाके पूछते हैं कि ओके क्या आपके साथ डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस होते हैं 
Uh, what do you think? How many women are going to talk about it? Largely, we are having females only. Do you really think that people are that comfortable to talk about it openly? No, they don't want to talk about it. But in case you want to understand, so may, might be in public, they might be saying, no, everything is very fine. But when you go and talk to them in person, in private, their behavior might be contradictory. So they, they might be saying something, but they might be doing something else. So when we try to find these kind of contradictions with the help of, and their belief or their opinion, their emotion, and the relationship of individuals, largely we are able to understand that, okay, why they are behaving in such a manner. Now, this could be a research that, okay, despite of domestic violence against women, why some females or some women, for example, some women, they would like to stay in that relationship? Can that be a matter of research? Can it be? I want to understand that but still you want to be in that relationship. So what motivates you to, to stay in that relationship? It is toxic, it is injurious, it is harmful for you, but still you are staying there. So publicly they might not speak, but when on one-on-one, -on -one, when in confidence we're going to take them and then we'll talk about it, they might open up and they will share their true side with you people that, okay, these are certain things. And from there, we can actually get the real insights that why people behave and act in a certain manner. When used along the quantitative methods, qualitative research can help us to interpret and better understand the complex reality. Just as we have quantitative, you have a picture that one part has been shown. That is why, largely now, many papers we are using mixed methodology. And I know if you have, many of you have seen that. So, in the mixed methodology, we are using both qualitative and quantitative so that we can get the better insights from all the ends. That whatever the quantitative data is telling is the same story is being told by the qualitative. And is the literature is also talking about the same thing? So I am using this triangulation method somewhat just to understand my, you can say, basics in a better manner and to understand the things. So I can definitely understand the situation and the implication of quantitative data in a better manner. Now, largely, these are certain research paradigms. Paradigms, you can say, approaches or certain assumptions. Certain first is positivist. Positives always say there is a cause and effect relationship. Whatever happens, it happens because there is certain reason. There is a cause. And because of the cause, there is certain thing which is happening. Cause and effect. I hope this is clear. Positive. Positive. They are very objective. They are very systematic and detailed. Six weeks for cause and effect problem solving stands on science and mathematics. So they are very logical. But when you talk about the interpretative, so interpretation is largely been done to understand the human side, which largely is done by the qualitative. I want to understand the psychology. I want to make, you can say, I want to interpret the text. I want to understand the text, you can say, what is to be the human, significance and meaning of people of two life events. Aims to identify what is important, what is evidence. So yes, when we are interviewing people, we are observing certain people, we are trying to understand people from different perspectives, you can say. With that, I try to interpret certain things on the based on the observation and the experience. That is largely part of interpretivist. Interpretivist, right? And when you talk about the radical and the critical, the desire to change the world, not to just describe it. They want to change something. The word is unjust and equality stems from the social lines of gender identity. Okay, how many of you believe there is uh, no gender equality in our society across the world? Do we have gender equality? No. We all agree with that? So if I really want to understand the government, we are having so many uh, teams which have been there. Uh, yesterday also they have uh, given an acronym Gyan and N stands for Nari or Nariko and Power Karni Ke Liye. 
उनको एंटरप्रेन्योर बनाने के लिए नॉट ओनली स्ट्रीम गवर्नमेंट इज लॉन्चिंग बट स्टिल वी ऑल बिलीव दैट देर इज नो जेंडर इक्वालिटी द रोल्स आर वेरी मच डिफाइंड इन सेंस इन द सोसाइटी द मेन आर टू बी आर एक्सपेक्टेड सर्टेन मैनर द वीमेन आर एक्सपेक्टेड इन सर्टेन मैनर एंड स्टिल सो मेनी पीपल व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस टर्म ग्लास सीलिंग so many uh, female say that okay yeah glass ceiling there is nothing uh, like glass ceiling but some female say that oh there is a glass ceiling i cannot go beyond certain things so now you can understand when i am interviewing two to three people they are having different perspectives because their experiences their understanding of life is different and that is what makes the qualitative unique because somewhere i am getting the different perspectives which i have not even thought of i even i don't know that when i start interviewing people what kind of themes will going to emerge what will happen and what are themes will going to emerge in? right and the last is post structuralist no one can stand after the traditions or discourse of their time somewhat so when i talk about the research in this Researcher is the expert and expected to be objective. That means unbiased. The participant is the object of the research. So, generally, a positive is the only approach which is quantitative. नहीं होती है. जहाँ पे हमें cause and effect relationship के साथ काम करते हैं. वहीं जब हम interpreter interpreter की बात करते हैं, इधर इधर subject इधर researcher इधर listener. And You can say the interpreter of the data obtained from the participant, the researcher discovers the truth of the situation through thinking and analysis, rather than sensory observation requires interpretation. So I'm trying to interpret certain things. Qualitative. Ah, uh, like for example, I'll give you. Recently, I conducted a research on whistleblowing intention of nurses. Now, this kind of research has already happened in Western world, so there were certain variables which are very very clear. so when we conducted our research and when we interviewed them so most of the nurses said that this is a very good thing karna chahiye sabko but they said that it is a risky venture and we would like to avoid it so possible possible uh, extent in the time it is not very necessary that's one thing now there were two factors two things that we have identified first was motivators second is demotivators So they said, "Ki what are the motivators?" So they said, "Ki patient advocacy. Like uh, we are very much attached to the patient because we are in the profession because the patient. We want to serve. So if something is harming the well-being of the patient, definitely we like to blow the whistle. Something happening very wrong to the system, then definitely we like to whistle. One interesting finding came. If we know if something is happening wrong, like it, if anyone has हमारे केस में कोई एक्शन लिया किसी चीज के लिए तो हम जरूर उसके लिए हम क्या करेंगे विसल ब्लॉक करेंगे तो यू कैन से बिकॉज ऑफ एंगर और राइट व्हेन दे आर पोर देन ओनली वी लाइक लाइक टू ब्लो द विसल तो देर इज सर्टेन फैक्टर जो पहले किसी रिसर्च में नहीं देखा गया है वो हमें कब पता चला जब हमने इंटरव्यू किया उनको कि वैसे ब्लो नहीं करेंगे लेकिन अगर मेरे अगेंस्ट में कोई एक्शन लेता है मुझे कोई फसाता है तो डेफिनेटली आई वुड लाइक टू ब्लो द विसिल अगेंस्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन अदरवाइज आई वॉन्ट टू दैट मीन फीलिंग ऑफ जेलिफी वॉज वन फीलिंग ऑफ एंगर वॉज वन ड्यू टू विच दे वुड लाइक टू ब्लो द विसिल विच वॉज नॉट फाउंड स्पेशली वेन इट ऑक्स अबाउट द क्वांटिटेटिव रिसर्च सो लाइक वाइज देर आर नॉट मेनी अदर थिंग्स ऑल्सो वी गेट टू नो इन द प्रोसेस वेन वी आर मीटिंग द इंटरव्यू यू कैन से द Interviews that is observant and the respondents, and we get to know lot many things from this particular thing. In the radical is the critical one. The researcher takes normative stance and has believe or beliefs about what social structures are powerful and what should be done to change them. Right? Relationship is can as co-research, reciprocal, participative, empowering, fast sharing. So at times we are having different different kind of research models, and we should try to bring these kind of radical changes. Last is methodology. So last is this is quantitative, which is hypothesis based. What is hypothesis assumption? Hypothesis assumption only, no? And then we talk about qualitative. So it is largely on based on interviews, grounded theory, methodology, analytics, 
phenomenological research. So these are the largely you can say the four uh, uh, portions. Then emancipatory action research, participatory, collaborative research, different kind of research comes in here. And here this comes discourse analysis, feminist post structuralism, fewer research and examples. Like lots of research is happening on LGBT issues and gender issues. They come in this particular part. And the last is ontology, social reality. Social reality is different. Hoti. The way you look at this world and the way other people look at this world, are they same or they are different? They are different. So, social reality is stable. So, as per quantitative, we have to assumptions that data is normalized, this is actually never normal. So, we have to normalize it. And data for discrete and observation, but reality is subjective. How many of you believe that reality is subjective? Reality is subjective? Sapta such alag hota hai. Aapka such inke such se alag hai aur inka such aapke such se alag hai. So, truth is very different, you can say. The reality is very different of yours and of mine. Social change begin must be at the root of social reality. Power is always part of social practices. So power changes the thing, and that is what you understand. And this is how epistemology also works. And then axiology. I will share all these things. And these are certain examples of paradigms within published research. For example, medical mask versus N95 respirators for preventing COVID-19 among health workers. Now you have research that if you put medical mask, lagate hai, और आपका N95 मास्क लगाते हैं तो दोनों में से कौन सा इफेक्टिव तो आपने एक्चुअल डेटा लिए और डेटा पे आपने कॉज एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप पे आपने क्या कंपैरेटिव स्टडी करी ऑन द रैंडमाइज वर्कर्स ये कोऑर्डिनेटिव आपको निकल के आया कि ये कॉज इसका इफेक्ट ये हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है कंस्ट्रक्टिव इज एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ हेल्थ केयर वर्कर्स इन न्यूयॉर्क सिटी ड्यूरिंग कोरोना वायरस डिजीज 2019 पैंडेमिक वाज क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल now, we can see that you work from home, which you do, what experience is. Or I, for example, I want to understand the experience of the people who are working in the hybrid mode. So that could be part of constructivism, where I have to do interpretations. Radical hearing the voices of opposition healthcare workers during COVID-19 pandemic. Then, for Claudian discourse before analysis, media reporting on the nerves has zero during COVID-19. So largely in media, you have seen that in which way reporting, karte, discourse analysis, karte, sentiment analysis, karte, this also become part of it. Quantitative, objective, hypothesis testing is done and deductive in approach. Deduction I hope, two approaches we are having, inductive and deductive. Specific to general and general to Specific. So this is largely deductive. So we are having a generic assumption and we want to induct it. So it seeks to assess, make association, examine causation, relationship and effects and seeks to answer questions of what? Prevalence, incidence and do and does. Effectiveness. After relationship, effective hai ya nahi hai. Significant hai ya nahi hai. But when you come, come to the quality, it is largely subjective. यहाँ पे हम हाइपोथेसिस जेनरेट करते हैं जिसे आप कहते हैं रिसर्च क्वेश्चंस हम यहाँ पे फॉर्मुलेट करते हैं तो आपके जो रिसर्च क्वेश्चंस बनते हैं दे आर कमिंग फ्रॉम क्वालिटेटिव लास्ट इट्स सिक्स टू डिस्क्राइब अंडरस्टैंड डिस्क्राइब अंडरस्टैंड एक्सप्लोर डिस्कवर जेनरेट एग्जामिन एंड आंसर नाउ यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दीज पर्टिकुलर टर्म आई एम रिपीटिंग अगेन प्लीज डिस्क्राइब यू वांट टू डिस्क्राइब समथिंग यू वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग you want to explore something. Sir, ne bola tha ki we want to explore something, discover something. Discovery, exploration becomes part of not this one, this one. Then examining, generating, and to answer questions of why, how, and what. That is experience. Why this answer thing is happening? How this is happening? And what? And this makes it different from Quantitative. I hope up till here, if you have a difference in the so my part is job, job is over. Are we clear on that part? 
Now again, qualitative and quantitative. So these are the various methods which you are generally using. Quantitative and research design can use karte hai. Observational studies, descriptive, case report, case series, case studies, cross-sectional, case control, experimental, randomized, non-randomized, controlled variables ke saath aap karte hai. Quantitative na karte hai aapko. Am I right? Qualitative mein generally humare type ke hoote ho kya descriptive, it could be phenomenological, actual research as a descriptive, Case study method, largely now we are using ethnography and grounded theory. Philosophy is very clear, objective, and this is very subjective. Research paradigm is very objective, that is positivist. But when it talks about qualitative, it's largely constructivist, or it is say interpretivist. That means you are trying to interpret something. You try to uh, discover a meaning. You try to make out a meaning out of the, the kind of data that you are bringing in. Largely, when we talk about the inquiry strategy, here you can understand it is largely deductive. That is hypothesis testing. Now, for example, you want to uh, understand or you have made a hypothesis that, okay, all the people who are above 60, they are uh, not very competent in using technology. This is an hypothesis only. Right? It may be wrong. It may be true. But trying, I uh, just want to test it. Hypothesis testing. Here I try to generate hypothesis. For example, Tom is 65 year old and he faces some difficulty in using the latest technology. Jerry is also 70 years old. He's having some difficulty. So what I'm saying, trying to make that the people who are above 60, they face a challenge in using latest technology. So here I am generating on the basis of inductive. I have one sample, liye, two sample, three sample, four sample, and basis of my hypothesis generate kari hai aapke yahan pe. Yahan par aap ek jang, aap kya karte? test karte hai, jo already exist karte hai. Take relationship ko test karte hai. Yahan par aap generate karte hai. Are we on same page? Any questions please? Okay. Research method. आपने सबने पढ़ा है random, non-random, right? Sampling हमारी techniques होती हैं ऐसी बहुत सारी random, random के according. तो हमारे क्या structure data collection करते हैं with the help of questions, laboratory. अगर आपका science field में है आप तो आप science में आप कुछ trials करते हैं, experiments करते हैं, behavioral interventions भी करते हैं, trials करते हैं, survey questions के तुरंत data collect करते हैं, then you run your analysis and finally got the result. Here these are the ways interviews. Focus group, observation, document analysis and review, this is content analysis. Art-based methods such as photo elicitation, drawing, river of life, and social media. Social media, if you look at the rate, we do a tweet analysis. This is largely your part of sentiment analysis. If you tweet, if you comment, if you comment, if you उनको हम understand करना चाहते हैं कि phenomena क्या है, what is their psyche, what is their thought process. That I can do easily with the help of social media, which जो data available है, जिसे हम कहते हैं, secondary uh, data based qualitative research. And lastly, what is research in effect, association, causation, relationship examine? आप ये use करते हैं खाली, qualitative. Qualitative may generally we talk about describe, explore, understand, discover, and examine. So these are largely the research designs if we talk about. I start with a grounded theory. Grounded theory was, yes, this concept of grounded theory was given by Glazer and Strauss in 1967. I will share one paper also with you people on this. So grounded theory, largely what they are saying, if you really want to uh, construct a theory, so largely grounded theory has been used to construct a new theory. Quantitative research se aap kabhi new theory build up nahi karte hai. So jab bhi aapko koi bhi theory build up karne hoote hai, largely we go to grounded theory studies. So after this, I have told you in 1967, first of all, Glazer and Stoss has given this concept. And largely, we have Glacier and Stock are different. So, Glacier is the meaning that it is objective. There is a logical sequence. 
लेकिन सॉस में फिर आपका कॉटन के साथ काम किया है देन दे सेड कि नो दे इज अनदर डायमेंशन आल्सो देयर इज अ पॉजिटिव अप्रोच आल्सो तो इंटरप्रिटेशंस भी है और आपके यहां पे पॉजिटिव्स भी है तो यहां पे हम दोनों में तो यहां पे कोशिश ये करते हैं कि कंजम्पशन के बेसिस पे तो यहां पे डेटा कलेक्ट करते हैं ग्राउंडेड थ्योरी में और हम जैसे डेटा इवॉल्व होता है जब हम उसको एनालाइज करते हैं देन यू जस्ट ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाइड ओके व्हाट कैन ऑफ थ्योरी इज इमर्जिंग तो वी हैव टू ग्राउंडेड थ्योरी स्टडी वी कैन इमर्ज अ न्यू थ्योरी तो जितनी भी आपकी नई थ्योरीज बनती हैं लार्जर दिस वन राइट आई कम फ्रॉम दिस वन फॉर एथनोग्राफी If I want to understand, you can say the culture of certain place. You want to uh, go and understand, for example, certain tribe. उसमें जाके आप उनको study करना चाहते हैं। आप क्या करेंगे? वहाँ जाके उनके साथ रहते हैं। So, for example, uh, you want to study the people in a on a particular island, for example, in Andaman. So, Andaman में आप गए, वहाँ पे जो researcher है, वो वहाँ पे रहा उनके साथ में। उसके कस्टम्स को उनके सारे थॉट प्रोसेस को तो वो देख रहे होते रह रहे जिंदगी जी रहा है एथनोग्राफी टू अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन से द पर्टिकुलर कल्चर पर्टिकुलर ट्राइब आई वुड लाइक टू गो फॉर एथनोग्राफी दैट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द कल्चर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्राइब और दैट पर्टिकुलर यू कैन से कल्चर आई विल कम टू दिस वन लास्ट historical studies so now there are certain things that happened in the past on the basis of the historical data i try to make certain sense out of it that what has happened what could might have happened what could be the repercussion kya hua hoga so i try to construct a meaning case studies aap isko relate kar sakte hain case studies hum generally kya karte hain hum ek company ko le lete hain ab case studies jab hai zaruri hai ki organization यहाँ पर केस आपका कोई इंडिविजुअल भी हो सकता है आई शेयर वन एक्सपीरियंस देर इज अ ब्यूटिफुल चैप्टर विच इज रिटर्न ऑन द केयर गिवर टू द एज पेशेंट तो ये पूरा आपका जो रिसर्च है वो पूरा फोकस था कि जो केयर गिवर्स होते हैं जो एज पेशेंट्स होते हैं उनकी जर्नी को उन्होंने स्टडी किया एंड दिस वॉज अ लॉन्चिंग ट्यूबल स्टडी इन क्वालिटेटिव वेयर दे हैव एक्चुअली लाइक इंटरक्टेड यू कैन से विद पीपल who are uh, uh, working as a care giver to the age patient or cancer patient jo par dono hi the and in this particular journey they have reported in their entire when they written their narration that many people have lost their life in the process so before it was so how was the life in the three stages i discuss here before this that disease was identified pehle to pata hi nahi tha ki aapko koi disease hai तो उससे पहले लाइफ का क्या स्ट्रक्चर था जब आपको ये आइडेंटिफाई हुआ कि आप एज है ये मान लीजिए कैंसर पेशेंट है उसके बाद लाइफ में क्या चेंजेस आने शुरू हुए अब आपको पता है कि अब ठीक है आपको हॉस्पिटल में जाना है ट्रीटमेंट स्टार्ट हो गया उस फेज के क्या चैलेंजेस हैं एंड विद इन देखा है कि दो साल के अंदर पूरी जर्नी उन्होंने नाप की है डिफरेंट स्टेजेस दिसर्च एंड इन दैट इट वॉज आइडेंटिफाई that what kind of psychological it is a psychology or psyche the people who are the caregivers not the people who are actually having the disease but the people who are actually giving the care to them unki kya situation hai unka kya experience unka kya thought process hai they would learn they wanted to understand that kis tarah aur qualitative mein agar aap phd bhi karna chahe to possible hai do subject ke upar bhi aap apni na phd kar sakte hain दो पे इनफैक्ट एक पे भी कर सकते देर आर नॉट मेनी एग्जाम्पल जहां जैसे टिप्स है टाटा इंस्टीट्यूट सोशल साइंसेज वहां पर आपको क्वालिटेटिव स्टडीज हुई है जहां पे दे हैव टेकन वन और टू यू कैन से सैंपल ऑफ केसेस जिसमें उनका पूरा आपका केसेस रोटेट हो जाता है बट दैट इज वेरी इंटेप एंड वेरी डिटेल एक्शन रिसर्च एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन सर्टेन प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम स्पेसिफिक होती है देर इज इमीडिएट प्रॉब्लम दैट यू लाइक टू सॉल्व and you want to call that and for that action research has been there right coming to the phenomenological i want to understand the phenomena that means what is the social phenomena why people behave in a certain manner i want to understand that thing that why why such things happen how this thing is evolving or why this thing is evolving For that, I can understand and I can take the help of phenomenology. 
Now, what makes it different from others? This is purely based on the experience of the respondents. This is largely banking upon the experience of the respondents. Now, there are other ways also which I will tell about it. Now, there are various methods to analyze it. Narrative inquiry is one. Phenomenology is another. These are the various designs which I can use for my study, you can say. Whatever I would like to go for. So, these are largely the things which you can in there. Practice and study as I have discussed. So, phenomenological studies examine human experience through descriptions provided by the people involved. Now, there can be two ways of doing the study. One is observation method. I just came here and I just want to understand that, okay, I took a FDT and uh, what was the reaction of the people and how they were responding, how they were interacting. So, I might not take your interviews, but near on the basis of my observation. I mean, not to speak by an observation. I just have to observe people. I have to just see them. On the basis of the observation, based on my understanding, I am going to jot down my experience. Another is that I will be talking to you people. And then I would like to know your experience. And on the basis of your experience, by removing my bias, I want to understand your experience, and that is what phenomenology talks about. So, largely it is called lived in experiences. So, phenomenology is basically talking about the lived in experiences of the respondent, which makes it very unique from any other qualitative methodology. And I love it for it because somewhere you are not putting your own biases into it, own experiences, but rather whatever the findings are coming in, whatever the themes are emerging. They are just coming from the interpretation of the lived experiences of the people. So, I give the example of receiving intention of nurses, of teachers. They all have discussed about their personally lived in experiences. Now, there is, and as a researcher, what is your job? Your job is to report whatever they have talked about, whatever they have told you in their own words. So generally, I will have uh, shared some papers also with you. So largely, we have data in quantitative mein, ki se Ab pe you have to say that you have to say that you have to you have to that you have to say 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 you have to say that 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 you have to say a proof or a, as an evidence that okay, this theme emerged out of the interviews, and these are the verbatim in support of this particular theme that emerged. Up. The goal of phenomenological study is to describe the meaning and experience hold for each subject. Our subject experience is very different. Okay, so we have to coding. Coding is coding. Hold for each subject. This type of research is used to study areas in which there is little knowledge. For example, अगर आप ये study करना चाहते हैं, थोड़ा important question हम वो topic उठाते हैं. Recently there was a petition in Supreme Court about same-sex marriage, am I right? India is still not very prepared. जैसा भी माना जाता है, that is why Supreme Court ने बोला ये हमारा काम नहीं है law बनाना, ये काम आपका parliament का है. इन लोग government को बनाने की जरूरत है, and they will have to look into it. What we can do is only we can recommend. कि सेम सेक्स जो पार्टनर्स हैं आप उनको ये सारी एट्रीज फैसिलिटीज आप प्रोवाइड कराइए लेकिन अगर आपने कभी ये सोचा कि ऐसा क्यों है कि व्हाई दे थॉट व्हाई दे थिंक कि आपने आर्टिकल 377 को हटाया तो सेम सेक्स मैरिज में क्या प्रॉब्लम सो समवन यू वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड द साइकोलॉजी ऑफ टू यहां पे हम सेक्स लेते हैं एक आपने सेम सेक्स जो लोग हैं जो शादी करना चाहते हैं इसमें एलजीबीटी कम्युनिटी से हमने डेटा लिया कि उनका क्या थॉट प्रोसेस है मैरिज को लेके और एक हमने जनरल लोगों का लिया टू अंडरस्टैंड कि उन्हें क्यों लगता है कि शादी क्यों नहीं अलाउ करनी चाहिए या क्यों अलाउ करनी चाहिए दीज आर सर्टेन थिंग्स जिसके बारे में मेरे पास डेटा अवेलेबल ही नहीं तो जब डेटा अवेलेबल ही नहीं है तो आप उस पर क्वान्टिटेटिव रिसर्च करोगे कैसे यहां पर मुझे क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च करने की जरूरत 
So the study for which I am not having, or you can say the titles or the topics where I am having very little knowledge, I don't have. Definitely at that point of time, I will be needing, you can say, qualitative study. Till now, are we on the same page? Right? Okay. Then what are the qualitative research methods for the participant observation? After bowling is not paying it. You just have to go and you have to observe, like observe people. Appropriate for collecting data, naturally occurring behaviors in their usual context. Just for example, you want to study the people, their marketing, the purchase behaviors of study, and that's how they consume it. If you go to the bazaar, you go to the mall, you go to the mall, you don't talk to anyone. So, you can see that people are behaving. If someone is doing a window dressing, if someone is going to the door, if someone is going to the door, if someone is going to the door, so you are observing various patterns, and then you are reporting. That is one participant observation. Lastly, it's the data of this. Who will be researcher? Who will be even he or she has to report. Second, in that interview. Now, is key we have a question is not not but we make a guide. 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 So in that interview, that the mostly uh, most powerful, you can say, the data collection tool for qualitative studies. Optimal for collecting data on individual personal history, perspectives, and experiences, particularly when sensitive topics have been explored. I went to test, so there were uh, some faculties who came from Indian Institute of Population Studies, Mumbai. So they said ki, we were doing one research in Andhra Pradesh in some rural areas, right? And they want to they want to study more about you can say, and in Mumbai also they have done special the slum areas. Is that why there is so much uh, substance abuse taking place, especially in this particular area? So they said he not once, twice, try that time, three to four times. First, we have to just go just to assure people that we are just saying, interact with you. After you go to the first time, you have to get data for your data. And you have to record it. You have to record it. So, this is one. But there are challenges also. It's not that easy to get it, but this is the one which you have to do. Sensitive topics, of course, every you have data when you are having one-on-one -on -one interview with them. Focus groups, I data not so what I can do, I can put some respondents in a group of 8 to 10 or 15, and then I am there asking the questions and they are talking about it. You can say at once. But if the challenge is that you need somebody who is not a videographer, because you have to take notes also. What they have, second. Because you have to take notes also. If you have to take notes also, you have to take notes also. Effective and eliciting data on the culture norms of a group and is generating broad overview of the issues to the culture group or the group's representative. Are we clear on that part? So these are the types, forms of quality data. First, three notes. Aap gaye, aap ne interview liya, aap ne three notes banaye. Aur yeh bade mehnat ka kaam hai. Kam se kam, ek interview ko karne mein, start se 90 minute lagte hai. Kai baar usse bhi zada. Kai baari, tim bhi lagte hai. Kai baar mahino bhi lagte hai. Till the time you're getting the right kind of data. Which is not that easy. Because trust ka yaha me bahut bada kaam hota hai. So as the research sabse pehle aapko kaam kya karna padega? You have to develop that kind of trust factor in the respondent. Ki jo data aap unse le rahe hai, uska misuse nahi hoga kahi se. Ab yaha me hame kuch chizo ka dhyan te rakha padega. We will talk about the ethics so that I tell you. There is audio if somebody allows. Like if it's permission only you have to do it. And transcript. So, when you make videos, what can you do? You can use the actual data from the process tools available in NBO. Where you can record it, then it will convert it in text. But it has to be in English only. You have to have a disadvantage. Then, what can you do? 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 Lived experiences, we will talk more about 
qualitative research appropriate that builds on the assumption of the universal essence of anything ultimately depends on how the audience experiences it. अब आपने तो बोला कि भाई थोड़े से एग्जांपल हम ले सकते हैं कुछ भी आप एग्जांपल उठा लीजिए कि भाई आपने अयोध्या में इतना कंस्ट्रक्शन हुआ तो कई जब आपने सड़क निर्माण वहां पे किए तो कई के घर टूट गए राइट अब आपने बिल्कुल वहां पे जो डिस्प्लेस हुए हैं अपनी जगहों पे उनका क्या एक्सपीरियंस रहा है आर दे हैप्पी कि भाई वहां पे राम मंदिर बना उनका तो नहीं होगा शायद हम मान रहे हैं लेकिन हो सकता है कई का थॉट प्रोसेस थोड़ा डिफर भी करते हैं कि हाँ भाई अच्छी बात है इतने सालों बाद तो राम मंदिर बनाए पांच सौ साल का तो हमारा घर जा भी रहा कोई बात नहीं वी आर एबल टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट समथिंग पॉइंट इज वहां पे जब आप जितने लोगों से बात करते हैं आपको डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंसेस सुनने को मिलते हैं आई फ्रॉम देर यू आर एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई और थीम जिसे आप कहते हैं वेरिएबल ये जो थीम्स निकलते हैं हमारी यही आपके कन्वर्ट हो जाते हैं किसमें वेरिएबल से तो कुछ चीजें आपको आपकी लिटरेचर से मिलती हैं लेकिन कुछ चीजें आपको यहाँ से नया मिलता है अब आप ये बोलेंगे कितने इंटरव्यू किए हैं पांच दस पंद्रह बीस पच्चीस कितने तो इसका आंसर बहुत सीधा है टिल दैट टाइम डेटा सेचुएशन ना हो जाए तब तक इंटरव्यू कर रहे हैं डेटा सेचुएशन यू कैन नोट डाउन दिस टर्म डेटा सेचुएशन अब मान लीजिए आपने इंटरव्यू किए इंटरव्यू करने के बाद आपने टीस कर दिए लेकिन स्टिल यू आर गेटिंग सम न्यू इंफॉर्मेशन एवरी टाइम तो कंटिन्यू करिए लेकिन जब आपको ये लगने लगे एक्चुअल में जब ये लगने लगे कि भाई ठीक है आप तो सबसे बात करने के बाद में सेम चीजें रिपीट हो रही है दैट मीन नॉट सिमिलर इंफॉर्मेशन इज कमिंग दैट मीन डेटा सेचुरेट हो रहा है देर वी कैन स्टॉप द इंटरव्यू दिस इज द ओनली वे टू आइडेंटिफाई That when we should stop taking interviews. Are we on that stage? Yes, sir. But still, one cannot be sure even after that. We don't even have any result yet. Yes. yes. In case if you are not getting the right. Uh, so there is one thing generally what happen when we are having a certain guide there is certain thing that we want to explore there is a theme to you can say that there is a purpose of research right so when you start uh, like conducting the uh, interviews so you are getting certain every time something because when you inter isliye hum bolte hain ki jitni zyada heterogeneity hoti hai data ke andar utna better hota hai agar aapki bahut zyada homogeneity hogi data ke andar तो फिर आपका सेचुएशन बहुत जल्दी आएगा इसीलिए जब भी हम यहाँ पे बात करते हैं तो वी हैव टू टेक यू कैन से लार्जली द पीपल हु आर डाइवर्स इन नेचर तो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैव टू बी डाइवर्स और आपको बढ़ाते जा रहे हैं टिल द टाइम यू आर गेटिंग योर नॉलेज कंटिन्यू लेकिन सेचुएशन आएगा एक टाइम के बाद वेन द आंसर विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग रिपीटेड वन वे और अनदर Okay, what I'll do, I'll just share this with you people. Then you can just see the small video. Okay, so just coming to the story end, the chronological inquiry that can be adopted to explore the unique meaning in any structure of any educational experience or lived phenomena. This is the uniqueness of this one. Now, what is uh, this research method? It records and analyzes the beliefs, feelings, and perception. Now, these are very, very different from one person to another. Your belief is different from yours. Your value system is different from other person's value system. So, they are looking to study relation to the things being studied. So, only the audience view matter. Yeah, but researcher का भी matter नहीं करेगा. हम यहाँ पे जब एक्सपीरियंस की बात करेंगे तो रिसर्चर का एक्सपीरियंस रहा हम वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट बट राजनी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द रिस्पॉन्डेंट 
रिसर्चर्स पर्सन एजामशन परसेप्शन अबाउट द फिनोमिना शुड बी इनरेलेवेंट जिसे हम कहते हैं रिसर्चर का जो बायस है दैट हैज टू बी केप्ट असाइड जैसे आप प्रोडक्ट अल्फा से सब वैल्यूज वगैरह निकालते हैं और आप बहुत सारी वैलिडिटी टेस्टिंग भी करते हैं और हम भी बोलते हैं कि बायस शुड बी रिमूव्ड राइट सिमिलरली द बायस हैज टू बी रिमूव फ्रॉम दिस प्लेस आल्सो तो फिनोमिनोलॉजी में जनरली हम वी वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इंटरप्रेनर्स एंड अबाउट इट कॉस्ट एंड परसेप्शन अबाउट द फिनोमिना यू आर रिसर्चिंग इट कुड बी एनीथिंग इट कुड बी एनीथिंग इट कुड बी जॉब सेटिस्फैक्शन टू बी वर्क कल्चर आपने बोला कि गवर्नमेंट इतना फंडिंग करती है कौशल विकास पे या आप कह लेते हैं स्किल डेवलपमेंट पे बट स्टिल वाई द रिजल्ट आर नॉट सेटिस्फैक्ट्री अब तो वाई लगाना पड़ेगा ना गवर्नमेंट ने इतनी फंडिंग कर दी है गवर्नमेंट ने इतना सारा सेंटर्स बनाए हैं इतने सारे लोगों को ट्रेन भी कर दिया है सर्टिफिकेट भी मिल गए हैं बट स्टिल वाई स्टिल पीपल आर नॉट एम्प्लॉयबल अब यहाँ जब वाई का क्वेश्चन आएगा क्या करेंगे क्वांटिटेटिव या क्वालिटेटिव ये सारी चीजें हो रही है बट स्टिल समथिंग इज मीन देयर तो फाइंडिंग एक्सपीरियंस ऑन योर इंटरप्रिटेशन एंड एनालिसिस दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू बी वेरी मच एक्सपीरियंस्ड एंड दिस वॉज फाउंडेड बाय एडमंड सेंचुरी So I'm not just going into a historical perspective. So these are the two people, Edmund and Alexander. They have emerged this uh, theory, or you can say in the early 20th century. And this philosopher, uh, philosopher in the stages of Adolf, Dinesh, Bachelor, Scheller, Adet, Walter, they provide pioneering descriptive analysis of the social phenomena. Largely, these who are the phenomenological things, the studies are they are largely been used in medical field. Myth. Transfer in such a bad kind of super mix of bad kind, and in this they have talked about that, like nurses, the medical staff, the patients, they have done a lot of studies. So largely, then up from there, now this is also being used in the various studies, especially in the management. And then understanding of other minds, motive, social life, corrective intentional thing, the main forms of social life, nature of social life. All these things become part of phenomenology. So underlying phenomena, what is that? I can easily understand with the help of this. So this is generally they started. So in 1945, this concept was came into you can say 1930. After introduced phenomenology as the science of the essence of consciousness. After that, in 1927, it goes. In being and time, this is the book. We interpret our actions and meanings in the world by looking at our relations to our world. हम एक चीज कहते हैं जैसे दृष्टि वैसे शिष्टि. I think it carries a very deep meaning. इसने ये बात कही है यहाँ. हमारी लाइफ वही है जिसमें दृष्टि से हम देखते हैं अपनी लाइफ को. और सबकी लाइफ बहुत डिफरेंट है. किसी के लिए वर्ल्ड इस फुल ऑफ रोज़ेस और किसी के लिए फुल ऑफ सॉन्ग. Moving to the next part, 1945. Believe phenomenology includes deliberate reflection as noted in being and nothingness, emphasizing freedom of choice. Next is phenomenology of perception showcases various phenomenology placing importance on human interaction and experience. Marvel and Campier and Proustian in the 1930s phenomenology migrated from primarily German philosophy to include French philosophy. In the book, search of lost time recounts past experience. So, largely, your experience pe hi based hai phenomenology, or usse ko hum yahan pe study karte. So, the key study, if you are looking different, me ye hai. Ya epistemology pe baat karte hai, ya anthropology pe baat karta hai. Personal living hai. Jo actually uski kya life hai, jo usko jee raha hai. Personal existence being in and of the world, jis dunya mein wo reh raha hai. Next is knowledge and historical. This is historical data. Next is essence are shared. Cultural practices and history are shared. Bracketing affords access to true knowledge. Bracketing का मतलब क्या होता है? When we are trying to put things in certain boxes, तो bracketing नहीं करनी. Cultural interpretation grounds any knowing. Like for example, 
इंडियन कल्चर है कि लाइक अगर हमसे कोई मन में बढ़ा है तो वी शुड गिव रिस्पेक्ट टू देम है मैं राइट ये कल्चर प्रैक्टिस है आप देखते आ रहे हैं वो शेयर भी हो रहा है एंड यू आर डूइंग इट प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑफ ओल्ड रेस्पेक्ट टू ट्रू नॉलेज लेकिन वहीं अगर हम मान लीजिए दूसरी कंट्री में जाते हैं लेकिन नाउ यू आर सेइंग स्पेशल जस्ट अ कॉर्पोरेट कल्चर आया है अगर कोई तो 55 ईयर ओल्ड भी है और कोई तो 20 ईयर ओल्ड भी है हम उसको फर्स्ट टाइम से कॉल करते हैं दिस इज हैपनिंग तो हमारा ट्रू नॉलेज तो मान लीजिए द पर्सन हु हैज स्टेड इन दैट काइंड ऑफ एनवायरनमेंट उसका जो ट्रूथ है और इनका जो ट्रूथ है डिफरेंट होगा एक्सपीरियंस विल बी डिफरेंट focus gain insight into experience and feelings of a specific audience in relation to the phenomena you are studying these narratives are the reality in the audience side jo unko sach lagta hai wo unhone baat kahi aapke sach manne na manne se farak nahi padta as a researcher as a respondent jo unko lagta hai wo report kar sakte hai they allow you to draw conclusion about the phenomena that may add or even contradict what you thought जो आपको लगता था हो सकता तो बॉन्डर ही कर जाए आप कई लोग बोलते हैं कि भाई आपको जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम इसको दोबारा से लेते हैं क्योंकि ये थोड़ा सा टॉपिक है जिसमें ज्यादा रिसर्च इंडिया में नहीं है आप एंटीबीटी इश्यूज पे अगर आप स्टडी करते हैं ज्यादा तो आपका एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग है आपका एक थॉट प्रोसेस है एंटीबीटी कम्युनिटी के बारे में लेकिन जब आप एक्चुअली उनको चाहे स्टडी करेंगे तो आपका थॉट प्रोसेस क्या हो सकता है चेंज हो सकता है यस और नो यस तो वी आर हैविंग सर्टेन थिंग एक और आपको एक टॉपिक और लेता हम मानते हैं कि देयर इज अ वायलेंस अगेंस्ट वुमेन बट आई से देयर इज अ वायलेंस अगेंस्ट मेन आल्सो बट देयर आर नो केसेस अगर केसेस नहीं है तो कैन वी से दैट देयर आर नो केसेस ऑफ वायलेंस अगेंस्ट मेन बाय वुमेन राइट तो वी डोंट हैव एनी लॉ एज सच वी डोंट हैव एनी सच केसेस तो लाजली वो हमारे पास पिक्चर में नहीं आते हैं तो कई लोगों को लगेगा यार ऐसा ना होता है बट इन एक्चुअल द पीपल हु आर एक्सपीरियंसिंग दैट दे आर हैविंग अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी टू से आर यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट एंड दैट व्हाट मेक्स इट यूनिक आपका थॉट प्रोसेस है मैटर नहीं करेगा मैटर करेगा यहां पर कि रेस्पोंडेंट को क्या फील होता है और उसके बेसिस पे देन यू आर ट्राइंग टू ड्रॉ अ फिनोमेना दैट मीन Contradict what you thought you knew you about it from internal perspective. कई लोगों लगता है कि कई लोग gender change करा देते हैं लड़का लड़की बन जाता है ये लड़की लड़का बन जाता है ये सब करने की जरूरत क्या है? लेकिन अगर आप देखें कई लोगों से जैसे बात करते हैं तो उनको बोलते हैं कि वे ना बड़ी comfortable in this body. Now you understand the kind of thought process they are having. Their reality is very different from yours. Yes or no? So definitely the way they are seeing the world. The kind of experiences they are having, and the kind of experiences you are having, that is different. So definitely, I would like to understand that. So definitely, it is valuable to gain audience insights, gender awareness about the item being studied, and develop new theories. कभी भी आप theory, आप कभी भी quantitative studies में theories को क्या करते हो? Test करते हो कि भैया जो theory बनाई है वो relevant भी है कि नहीं है? But here. Yes, You are developing new theories. This is the qualitative examples. Putting a study of thoughts and experience of family members waiting for a loved one who is undergoing major surgery. Next is this could provide insights into nature of the event from broader family perspective. Let's go a little bit more example. Let me tell you something. There are many people with COVID who lost their lives. Am I right? There are many people who lost their loved ones during COVID. लेकिन देर मेनी पीपल वो अवेयर थी ना जिनके फैमिली को कुछ नहीं हुआ अब आप इन दोनों लोगों के एक्सपीरियंसेस को जरा स्टडी करें इनफैक्ट में बोल सकते तीनों को स्टडी करें एक वो जिनकी फैमिली में कुछ नहीं हुआ सब ठीक ठाक था पहले भी आज भी अच्छा है कुछ ऐसे लोग जिनकी एक्चुअल फैमिली में लोग चले गए हैं और एक ऐसे लोग जो फैमिली में तो नहीं गए लेकिन उनके कुछ जानने वाले लोग गए तो क्या इन तीनों के एक्सपीरियंसिस में आपको लगता है दे विल बी सम डिफरेंस डेफिनेटली राइट देर दिस मेथोडोलॉजी कैन हेल्प यू सो इफ आई कुड हैव कन्विंस यू फॉर क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च कि क्यों कंडक्ट करना चाहिए तो मेरा काफी अच्छा काम आई एम सक्सेसफुल तो एनी क्वेश्चन आप प्लीज
Yeah, ma'am. You have already said that uh, there are biases in this also, so we have to remove the biases also. What are the tools for removing the biases? In the okay. Biases? So, lastly, when we are doing coding, so here we have different types of coding. We say, first, open coding, then XCL coding. We do here. Open coding, what is it? 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 कुछ आपके फ्रेंड्स ने किए जो आपके को रिसर्चर्स हैं अब आप सभी ने क्या किया कि भाई इन्होंने बना तो लिया है तो क्या तो सिमिलैरिटीज है कहना क्या चाह रहे हैं व्हाट दे आर पॉइंटिंग आउट टू तो आपने कोडिंग करना शुरू किए कि व्हाट आर द थीम्स दैट आर अपीयरिंग अब जब आप उसे करते हैं तो आपने सेपरेटली कोड किया नाम ने सेपरेटली कोड किया है तो आपका थॉट प्रोसेस उनका थॉट प्रोसेस क्या है अलग अलग है तो ये पहला स्टेप है ओपन कोडिंग तो आपके क्या थीम्स निकल कर आए उनके क्या थीम्स निकल कर आए फिर आपने क्या किया तो फिर मर्ज करना शुरू किया कि क्या सिमिलैरिटीज निकल कर आए क्या सिमिलैरिटीज निकल कर आए फिर आपने एक्सएल कोडिंग करना शुरू किया ओपन कोडिंग पहले आपने इंडिविजुअली करी फिर एक्सएल कोडिंग आप सभी ने मिलकर करी तो जो कॉमनैलिटी थी आपने उसको अलग किया जो डिफरेंसेस थे आपने उसको अलग किया जब आपके चार लोग बैठे हुए हैं तो डेफिनेटली बायस विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट कहीं नहीं कर सकते बट लार्जली टू ग्रेट एक्सटेंट यू कैन डू डा क्या यस डेफिनेटली नॉट बिकॉज वो तो आप कर ही चुके हो वो तो देखो अल्टीमेटली आप डेटा कलेक्ट कर चुके हो ऑडियंस से तो राइट रेस्पॉन्डेंट का डेटा आपके पास आ चुका है अब आप ये देखना चाहते हो कि जो हमने डेटा कलेक्ट किया है वो डेटा कहता क्या है वट कैंड ऑफ स्टोरी इज डेटा इज टेलिंग राइट So this is what I would like to understand. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, we can do that. वही प्रोसेस है ओपन कोडिंग करिए एक्सल कोडिंग करिए फिर फाइनल आपकी कैटेगरीज आ जाती है एब्सोल्यूटली तो इट इज अ टू टू थ्री स्टेप प्रोसेस दैट वी जनरली फॉलो अब इसमें क्या है ऑडियंस के इंटरप्रिटेशन पे आपका फोकस होना चाहिए ना कि अपने इंटरप्रिटेशन पे कि नहीं मुझे तो ये लगता है आपके लगने में कुछ नहीं होता ऑडियंस को क्या लगता है मोर फर्स्ट बायस ऑफ प्रायर इन्फ्लुएंस अगर आप एक बायस के साथ काम करना शुरू करते हैं अब मान लीजिए आपने स्लम में जाके रिसर्च करी और आप उनके ना ड्रग अब्यूज को स्टडी करना चाहते हैं ड्रग कंजम्शन को बेसिकली सब्सेंस अब्यूज क्यों करते हैं तो आपने एक माइंड में बना रखा है यार ये होते ही ऐसे ही ये ही काम करते आप एक बायस लेके जा रहे हैं राइट right? तो कहीं ना कहीं जो बायस है वो आपके रिजल्ट को अफेक्ट कर सकता है तो दैट हैज टू रिमूव द डिस्क्रिप्टिव एम्फोसिस ऑन रिसर्च इंसाइट इन डेथ डिस्क्राइबिंग द फिनोमिना टू दी आईज ऑफ द ऑडियंस एज कॉम्प्रीहेंसिवली एज पॉसिबल कनेक्टिंग ऑब्जेक्टिविटी विद लिव एक्सपीरियंसेस आपके नहीं audience and the last this is these are the various types of chronology research design existential chronology focus on understanding the audience experience through their perspective second hermeneutics focus on creating meaning from experiences through audience ab yahan pe kya hai ki aapne interview conduct kiye lekin researcher kya karta hai apna narrative yahan pe create karega on the basis of the experiences of audience Transcendental focuses on how the phenomena appears in one consciousness on a broader scientific scale. Three levels. So, we will talk about this. And this is our process. Determine a research problem based on phenomenological research approach. So, you have to see what is the phenomenological IP here. Will it be applicable or not? That's important. Second, what do you want to study the phenomena? Describe it to us. राइट आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड अभी हम एक और स्टडी कर रहे हैं कि आपके जो मिलेनियर्स हैं उनको क्या मोटिवेट करता है या क्या डिमोटिवेट करता है फॉर सस्टेनेबल क्लोदिंग राइट आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड की ड्यूरिंग कोविड जो वर्किंग वेमेन है उनके क्या मोटिवेटर्स है या क्या डिमोटिवेट क्या इश्यूज और क्या चैलेंजेस उन्होंने फेस किए ड्यूरिंग कोविड तो यहाँ एक रिसर्च पेपर जिसमें ऑलरेडी वर्किंग आपका रिव्यूज में है 
और एक हमने काम किया कि जो मेटर्निटी बेनिफिट इसको मैं डिस्कस करूंगा थोड़ा सा आपको कमेंट्स में देखा होगा जो मुझे आए बर्बर के उसमें तो उसके अंदर आप देखेंगे कि मेटर्निटी बेनिफिट एक्ट में जो अमेंडमेंट किया गया दो में जहां पे तीन महीने से बढ़ा के छह महीने की आपकी लीज बढ़ा दी गई है और काफी सारे चेंजेस किए गए तो उसमें बड़ा बटा हुआ था है सोसाइटी कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी वीमेन की बढ़ेगी जो क्लेम किया जाता है गवर्नमेंट की साइड से इट विल गोइंग टू हेल्प वीमेन इट विल गोइंग टू हेल्प वीमेन टू स्टे इन द वर्क फोर्स लेकिन बताइए अभी मैं लॉ नहीं बनाएंगे ना ये बात कही थी आपके मिनिस्टर ने ये नेशनल प्रोसेस है इसके लिए छुट्टी की जरूरत नहीं है राइट वो एम ट्राइंग टू से इसमें जो हमने स्टडी की है हमने यहाँ पे तीन परस्पेक्टिव स्टडी किए एक आपका एम्प्लॉयर का एक वर्किंग वेमेन का और तीसरा आपका उनके मेल कलीग का अब यहाँ पे तीन हमने जो लिए परस्पेक्टिव जिनके साथ वो काम कर रहे हैं एक वो खुद और एक उनका मैनेजमेंट तो एम्प्लॉयर क्या सोचता है उनके कलीग क्या सोचते हैं तो कुछ पॉजिटिव भी है कुछ नेगेटिव भी है दोनों को मिला के जब हमने देखा तो वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मेटर्निटी बेनिफिट के शोर तो इतना बचाया जा रहा है लेकिन क्या ग्राउंड में इतना इफेक्टिव होगा लोग क्या सोचते हैं इसके बारे में एक तरफ बोलते हैं कि एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी बढ़ेगी अब मैं तो ये कहता हूँ मेरी ये जनरेट कर सकते हैं हाइपोथिस यहाँ पे मेटर्निटी बेनिफिट विल लीड टू मोर वेमेन एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी और ऐसा वर्षा I can get that. I can generate this and then I can test it. So generation, I can do it with the help of this. But we will start from here itself because after maternity, when we have started the paper, we will start with the data. Collect data using uh, so identify specific research assumption of the phenomenology. Collect data using in the interviews over multiple settings. And here, settings are very important. लोगों ने क्या बोला उनके हम कमेंट्स को हम मेंशन करते हैं इन सपोर्ट कि ये थीम निकल कर आई और ये हमारे वर्बिटिंग से जो उसमें निकल कर रहे हैं अब डिस्क्रिप्ट माय पेपर आपको उससे ज्यादा क्लियर होगा और ये आपके इंडक्टिव और डिडक्टिव रीजन तो आई थिंक ये सब क्लियर है सबको तो वी कैन जस्ट मूव है राइट और इसमें हम एक चीज देखेंगे कि यहाँ पे स्पेसिफिक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से पैटर्न रिकॉग्नेशन करते हैं पैटर्न रिकॉग्नेशन से जनरल कंफ्यूजन हम निकाल लेते हैं डिडक्टिव में ऑलरेडी क्यूरी एग्जिस्ट करती है उसके हाइपोथिस बनाते हैं उसको टेस्ट करते हैं डेटा कलेक्ट करने के बाद और फिर उसके बाद रिजेक्ट कर देते हैं लार्जर दिस इज वॉट यू आर डूइंग लेकिन जब हम क्वालिटेटिव की बात करते हैं हम इन दोनों चीज को एक साथ इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं आई कैन यूज बोथ इंडक्टिव ऑल्सो डिडक्टिव ऑल्सो तो कई बार जैसे मैंने आपको बताया था दिस इज नो इंटेंशन की जो मैंने नर्सिंग पर स्टडी करी उस पर मैंने ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग थ्योरी को यूज किया तो मैंने इंडक्टिव भी किया है इट इज हेल्प ऑफ क्वालिटेटिव लेकिन चूंकि लिटरेचर में भी आपका सपोर्ट मिलता है क्या मुझे तो वहां पे एक पेशेंट एडवोकेसी थ्योरी है तो डेट आई यूज और उसको दोनों को भी मैंने मर्ज भी किया तो आई यूज बोथ यू कैन से अप्रोच इज दैट इज इंडक्टिव एंड डिडक्टिव टू गेट अ बेटर इंडस्टैंडिंग ये हमारे मेथड है ऑलरेडी आई टोल्ड यू ऑब्जर्विंग इंटरव्यूइंग रिकॉर्डिंग एनालाइजिंग लेकिन बिना किसी की जानकारी के रिकॉर्डिंग नहीं कर रही दीज आर अगेन द रिसर्च एथिक्स and you can be sued for that in case you are doing that all right so these are the things can you move ahead ab hum baat baat karte hain limitations ki difficult for you to draw completely isme jo sample size hota hai bada chhota hota hai lekin us sample size ko hum bahut detail mein study karte hain sample size should be as in as small as 2 which can go up to 
हॉल है तो इसके जो रिजल्ट होते हैं आप उससे पूरे कंफ्यूजन नहीं निकाल सकते तो हम इसको क्या कह सकते हैं यार इसको हम जनरलाइज नहीं कर सकते क्वालिटेटिव स्टडीज आर नॉट जनरलाइजेबल ये आपको इंडिकेशन देते हैं ये आपको एक फ्यूचर रिसर्च दिखाएगी कि ठीक है ये निकल कर आ रहा है ये वेरियबल निकल कर आ रही है कर आ रही है अब इसको अगर आपको जनरलाइज करना है तो आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा अब यहाँ पे आप क्वान्टिटेटिव यूज करेंगे और यहाँ पे क्या करेंगे यहाँ पे आप प्रश्न बिल्ड करेंगे उसके बाद डेटा करके फिर आप क्वान्टिटेटिव स्टडी करेंगे वेयर वी गोट टू हैव कॉल एंड इफेक्ट रिलेशनशिप एम आई क्लियर ऑन दैट पर रिसर्चर बाय डिफिकल्ट टू अवॉइड क्योंकि थोड़ी बहुत तो रहेगी Even if you try to remove your own experiences, prejudice will want to come. Bias can contaminate the entire outcome, so you have to be careful. Look. Here, we are going to rely on the audience experience, so its accuracy is very important. It 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 is very The results of phenomenological study can be difficult to summarize and present due to its qualitative nature. Confusion typically needs to include qualified and caution. Time consuming है क्योंकि इतना जल्दी नहीं होता है. At times it takes months to collect the data, especially when talks about the qualitative data. So that is why it is little difficult. Or so करने के लिए you need to have a lot of expertise on. But with practice you get it. रिपोर्टिंग करने के लिए बहुत सारे आपके तरीके होते हैं तो आई विल शो यू वन देर आर सर्टिन गाइडलाइन जो आप फॉलो करते हैं स्पेशली क्वालिटेटिव में दिस आई विल ऑलरेडी शेयर विद यू पीपल रिसर्च अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वालिटी रिसर्च कंप्लीट थर्टी टू आर कंडीशन हम कहते हैं कॉलिंग क्यू दैट इज कॉन्सोलिडेटिंग क्वालिटेटिव स्टडी और दूसरा है आपका स्टैंडर्ड फॉर रिपोर्टिंग क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च एस आर क्यू आर तो ये दोनों आपको प्रोवाइड यू जिसको हम जाए करके आपके देखते हैं So both of these have items that are specifically about the methodological approach and the research paradigm. क्या क्या assumptions क्या लेके चल रहे हैं? Let me check if it will work. I'll just show you this later. And ultimately, detailing आपको मिलेगी लेबर experiences पे and that will want to help you out. And these are the little bit features. We have theory here, so I'm just skipping it. I'll give you this PPT. Don't worry. Examples are how do people uh, with genetic conditions view change medical technology? ये एक example है जिसपे आप study करना चाहेंगे. What is relationship between delusions and personal goals? Next, how do people come to terms with the death of partner? जैसे कि partner की death हो जाती है, तो how they cope up? How does the women's sense of identity change during the transition to motherhood? What model of person do priests have? How does being HIV impact on personal relationships? So these are certain topics that are that are worth researching as an example, and uh, these are the three types of IPM: nominology, analytics, and ideal ideography. We merge all these three. We describe, we interpret, and then it will like focus on the individual and the theory of interpretation. So we are doing all these things to understand the lived experience. This is done by Professor Tan, so I have just taken from there itself. And these are the steps. सबसे पहले क्या करिए? Read करिए, read करिए. एक बार में नहीं होगा. आपने जो transcript बनी है ना आपकी, आपने interview ले लिए, transcript ready हो गई है. क्वेश्चन आपने पूछा उसका आंसर है पढ़ते रहिए इनिशियल नोटिंग करिए उसकी प्री एसोसिएशन में स्कोरिंग सिमेंटिंग दैट इज राइटिंग नोट्स इन द मार्जिन दैट कहते हैं मेमो ही डेवलपिंग इमर्जिंग टीम तो इनिशियली आपकी जो टीम में मार्जिन होगी बनाते चले जाइए डोंट वरी कितनी बन रही बनाइए सर्चिंग फॉर कनेक्शन दैट आर द मार्जिन टीम का की मर्ज हो रही है क्या उनके बीच में कोई कनेक्शन है अब आप क्या करेंगे यहां पे ओपन कोडिंग करेंगे अब उसके बाद एक्सेल कोडिंग स्टार्ट करेंगे जो सिमिलर है जिससे मिलर है 
taking interpretation to deeper levels, deepening the analysis by utilizing metaphors, temporal images, initial of coding as a training. Take you see bar of different category, category of defined as a training, which is the category that finally are decided. He generally has up the IP kit steps open, given by a certain adapt. And these are the references, and this is thank you. This is all about theory. Wala part. Ab after your next session, I want you to ask how many techniques are there now? Can we have some groups of three to four people? Mm -hmm. So you can make a group of three to four people. Identify any particular topic that you would like to research upon. Got it? So I will be discussing two things. First, how to create an interview guide? Taki aap sikhen. Interview guide kaise aap banayenge? Uske baad, I'll tell you, I'll give you some data. Mainne de diya hai waise. Aapko ek mainne transcripts ka data diya hai, 6 se 7 ka. Aur yeh us paper ka hai, jom aapko bata raha tha, millennials ka, ki why they would like to go for, what are the motivators and demotivators for sustainable clothing. Aapko kya karna hai? Aapko woh transcripts padhne hai, aur aapko usme coding karni hai. Done? So two things. You have to prepare an interview guide. That's one thing. Or second, you have to coding at your level. And after that, I will tell you how much coding and how much coding is different. Right? So you are going to learn from this particular process. Right? So any question till now, whatever the part of the theory is. I hope I'm able to uh, make some sense. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, generally, we do categorization. 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 In the phenomenal logic, you have told me that I have used analytics. Okay? Or I have used solely ideography. So you can use it together. You can use it in pieces. Right? So this is how you can do. Some places thematic analysis is used. Right? Some places narrative inquiry is used. So there are a lot of ways through which you can do the reporting. Depending. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. Now, for example, I am interviewing you. I am interviewing you. So, you are giving some responses to me. Right? So, what do you do basically? You are narrating, na? So, what do you responses to me? I am narrating. Narrative inquiry. So, what I am trying, I am trying to create a story out of whatever the, the inputs I have got from you, or you can say the respondents. During my interview, during the interview analysis, I have a narrative inquiry we try to understand the philosophy ki what are their thoughts. So, in the story format, we have a research. It's not a research. It's 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 a research. ये नरेशन है। फिनोमेनोलॉजी में प्रॉब्लम ना आती है, या आई विल सेल कैसे डिफरेंट है? फिनोमेनोलॉजी में जो आप कह रही हैं वो एज इट इज जाएगा। वहाँ पे मेरा कोई भी इनपुट नहीं होगा। आई एम द ओनली वन हुई जस्ट रिपोर्टिंग इट इन अ गिवन फॉर्मेट। अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट नथिंग इज बिल्डिंग। तो Grounded theory generally we use for theory development. We don't take any pre-assumption here, grounded theory especially, that this theory will come out. The data is available in the data, but what will it be? It will evolve from itself. So when we start to analyze the data, what will it be? It will automatically be a theory evolution. Yes, sir. Depend करेगा बाम 
जैसे अगर हम ग्राउंडेड थ्योरी अप्रोच लेके चलते हैं तो आप ये बोलते हैं कि हम कोई थ्योरी लेके नहीं चल रहे हैं पहले से हम डेटा हमने कलेक्ट किया डेटा एनालाइज करते हुए ये थ्योरी इवॉल्व हुई ये थ्योरी इवॉल्व हुई पहले से नहीं है और अगर पहले से कोई थ्योरी एग्जिस्ट करती भी है तो आप क्या करेंगे क्या रिलेशनशिप है और क्या रिलेशनशिप नहीं है तो दैट कुड बी एन एड ऑन लेकिन आप ये मान के चलते हैं कि अच्छा पहले से अब कई लोग क्या कहते हैं कि ग्राउंडेड थ्योरी में स्पेशली कि लिटरेचर रिव्यू नहीं करना चाहिए कई लोग मानना ये है कि आप पहले डेटा कलेक्ट कर लीजिए और उसको आप एनालाइज करिए और आपको पता चलेगा कि हाउ इट इज अवॉल्व कई लोग कहते हैं कि लिटरेचर आप करिए ताकि आपको पता है कि क्या काम हुआ है आपको एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग डेवलप होती है और उससे कोई इम्पैक्ट नहीं आएगा बट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स और जिस स्कूल ऑफ आप फॉलो करते हैं बट लिटरेचर डेफिनेटली यू हैव टू टेक स्पेशली अगर ऐसा कोई काम है जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि ऐसे एरिया में जहाँ पे कुछ अवेलेबल नहीं है नेशनल नॉलेज इज बिन देर तो वहां पर तो बड़ा मुश्किल ही होता है तो वहां पर आपको यू हैव टू कंडक्ट क्वालिटेटिव फर्स एंड देन ओनली यू हैव टू मूव अहेड right so this is how so just moving ahead now there are two things there are two papers so you let me know which we do you would like to discuss this is one paper which i was talking about exploring the simple intention of indian nurses in the qualitative study which i which we have done this is my paper only kisi aur ka nahi dikhaunga main apna hi dikhaunga aapko either you can go with this paper and there is one more paper This is going in Indian education sector, qualitative study. Teachers अब इसी पे भी करना चाहेंगे जिसपे भी करना चाहे दोनों तो ये आपका क्वान्टिटेटिव है अपना तो अभी हम दो लेते हैं एक आप तो और है जो एंटरप्रीनरशिप पे है जो हमने स्टूडेंट्स पे किया था उसमें मैं नेगेटिव इंक्वायरी को यूज किया है तो आई शेयर ऑल माय पेपर्स विद यू एक हमारा रिसेंटली भी पेपर पब्लिश हुआ है सस्टेनेबिलिटी के ऊपर व्हाट आर द टीचर्स परसेप्शन टू वर्ड सस्टेनेबिलिटी इन एजुकेशन सेक्टर इन एच ई आई इस पर भी हुआ है मैं आपको दो ये वाले दो देता हूँ मैं आपको जिसपे आप स्टडी कर सकते हैं तो लेट्स हैव वन पेपर Which one would have to go? Maximum majority will go by that only. Teachers, okay. So please uh, just go through this paper. This is the intention of teachers in higher education. And then, on this basis, we will discuss it. After you have done the research, you have done the research, you have done the research, you have done the research. Besides, you have to make your own group. Three or four people have to come together. And come up with certain topic in qualitative area which you would like to explore, or उसपे हम और अपना एक interview guide बनाना शुरू करें, ठीक है? कि कैसे हम interview guide develop करते हैं, और कैसे फिर हम इसका coding करेंगे, और तीन activity हम यहाँ पे करेंगे। Interview guide, how to prepare an interview guide, that is one. हम यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं जो मैंने यहाँ पे mention किया है, ये interview schedule है जो मैंने बनाया है, ये paper already review में है। <coughs> तो आप देख सकते हैं ये क्वेश्चन मैंने बनाए हैं इस तरीके का आप एक खुद डेवलप करेंगे अपने आप तब आप सीखेंगे भी तो आई विल गिव यू दिस फॉर ए रेफरेंस कल आप कहीं पीछे में काम करेंगे तो यू आर दिस एज ए रेफरेंस पॉइंट आप अपने लिए बनाएंगे छोटा सा बनाएंगे ज्यादा बड़ा नहीं बट वन आई वॉन्ट यहाँ पे फ्रेंड्स है कि हमें इन सबको क्यों रखा है ये क्वेश्चन क्यों पूछे गए और यहाँ पे हम कैसे रिलायबिलिटी भी चेक करते हैं ये भी बताऊंगा मैं गाइड के अंदर में उसका मैं आपको कुछ टिप्स दूंगा ये आप देख रहे हैं ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी फोर तक ये भी गिविंग तो पहली दो एक्सरसाइज ये बनाना दूसरा आप इससे क्या करेंगे एनालाइज करेंगे और आप इसमें इनिशियल थीम्स निकालेंगे आइडिया मैंने बता दिया आपका मोटिवेटर और डीमोटिवेटर फॉर सस्टेनेबल क्लोदिंग या तो करना है और चौथा हाउ टू डू तो ओपन कोडिंग आप यहाँ पे करेंगे यू हैव टू कोडिंग यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दिस वन एंड यू टू डिस्कस वन पेपर हाउ टू राइट अ क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च पेपर गुड टू गो विद एनी रिजर्वेशन 
Okay, then so we can take some break and then we can meet again. Mm -hmm. So in the meanwhile, if you get time, so just please go through this paper also and this questionnaire also. Thank you.